Lisa. Today we're going to take a look at adding and editing Rackspace email mailboxes in the Cloud Office control panel. Let's take a look. All right, let's get started with adding a mailbox. To do so, you'll click on Mailboxes under Rackspace Email, and then you'll click on Add Mailbox. From there, you'll be taken to a screen where you can enter all of the information that you'd like to, but all that's required are the ones with the asterisks, so username, password, and confirm password. I'm just gonna call it example 12, 12 is a good number. When you're entering a password, you're just going to want to check against the complexity requirements that are displayed to the right, and you'll also want to make sure that they match. If you have two passwords that match, you'll get a green little check mark here, and you're safe to hit Add Mailbox. After everything goes through successfully, you'll get a confirmation screen. Here, you're able to make any changes to the mailbox that you deem necessary, for example, setting up a forward or auto-reply right away. If you don't need to make any changes, you're free to scroll down to the bottom and click Update Mailbox, which will complete the process of creating that Rackspace email mailbox. That's all there is to it. Now that we've gone over adding a single mailbox, let's go over adding multiple mailboxes. This will be a great feature if you have between 50 and 500 users. Anything less than that, you may want to do them one by one. If you're going to go this route, go ahead and click on the Add Edit Multiple Mailboxes. You'll find it in the same place where you saw Add Mailbox. Here, you can download a file where you'll import information of your users. Username, passwords, email addresses, things of that nature. Once you've filled out the information, you can come back to the site, click Import, and that will bring in the file and add those multiple mailboxes. Sometimes you're going to come across a situation where you're going to need to rename a mailbox. To do so, you'll click on the mailbox from the mailbox listing. And on the general screen that has all of the information, you're going to click More at the top, and then Rename Email Address. This can come in handy for situations like marriage, where you have to change the last name, you want to keep the mailbox, you don't want to lose the data. So let's change this mailbox name to Mrs. Example 12. And we'll click Rename Email Address. Once that has been completed successfully, you'll see a pop-up saying, hey, your old mail is still going to forward to the new one. We've made an alias. We're going to make sure you still get your mail from the old address name. Click on OK to confirm that. Your mailbox has been successfully renamed. You'll see the new name all the way at the top here. If you do decide that you don't want that alias, you don't need that old name, maybe you've had a change of employees, you can go ahead and click on the alias tab from here. Select the old address, click Remove, and then Update Mailbox. That will continue the rename without having that alias there. Now we're going to touch on deleting a Rackspace email mailbox. To do this, you're going to click the checkbox next to the email address, go down to Select Action, and choose Delete Mailboxes. Once you've done that, you're going to get a confirmation prompt that's asking if you want to delete the mailbox and what data that's associated would also be deleted with that. If you're okay with all of that being gone, you'll click Delete One Mailbox or however many you've selected. And you'll see on the screen for the mailbox listing that the mailboxes that you've deleted are now gone. If at any point you need to restore that mailbox, it's going to be available for 14 days. In order to restore it, you'll add the mailbox back by clicking Add Mailbox. And it's important that you give it the exact same name that it had before you deleted it. The password, on the other hand, can be whatever you'd like it to be. It does not have to be the old password. Again, make sure your passwords match. Click Add Mailbox, as we've done earlier. You'll get this prompt here asking if you'd like to restore that data. If, in fact, you would, you can click Restore. If you don't need any of that old mail, you can click the No Thanks. After that completes, you'll see the message up here saying that the mailbox was created and any available mail was recovered. There's no more to that process. In conclusion, we've gone over adding a single mailbox, adding in bulk, renaming, deleting, 
and restoring a Rackspace email mailbox. If you have any questions outside of this scope, you can feel free to check out our email help tool at emailhelp.rackspace.com. You can check out the Knowledge Center that's accessible via that tool. You can check out our other videos, or you can give us a call 24-7 at the number listed at the top of your control panel. See you next time.